Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Handmade by Yang with Donna. Today is Friday, December the 16th, and tonight I have two special guests with me. I have Courtney of Pieces Loving Quilting, and I've also got Tucker Nace of Tucker Sewing and Quilting. Tonight, Tucker has graciously um, accepted me saying, please be my moderator tonight, with mm -hmm. Courtney going to be on her long arm and no cell phone in hand and i'm going to be on my long arm no cell phone we couldn't actually do the chat tonight so i've asked tucker if he would moderate for us the goal is um he's just going to basically read the chat aloud and if there's something that we need to know he's going to point it out to us he's also going to be watching on his end what courtney's doing on her long arm and what I'm doing, Tucker's aware of what I'm doing. I'm just doing match stick quilting on my line. And Courtney's going to do free motion to where she's really putting intricate details into hers. Mm -hmm. Two different versions. Mine's ruler work and Courtney's is going to be an array of different ways of using said ruler. So... I'm using a variegated thread on the top and a 60 weight white on the bottom. And Tucker told me about this. And I'm telling you right now, he's on point 100%. I've had no breakage and it's really laying in there really nice. So Tucker, thank you, sweetheart. Uh-huh. Courtney, what are you using tonight? A variegated blue and purple and green thread, top and bottom. Okay. So let's get to our long arms. <laughs> Give me a second. There we go. So let's see. We have Yo Patty G in here. Welcome, everybody, because I honestly didn't, please. Mm -hmm. Yep. We have, and I don't even have my glasses, so I'm going to get real close. We have Shelly Clark in here, Julie Quilts, and they are both saying hello. Uh, Dahlia is in here, Dahlia Badger. I think I'm reading that right. Yep. Let's see, we have Yo Petty G. Uh, M M Z Topaz is here. Hey, Donna, Courtney, and myself. Everyone's in here saying hello. We have our good friend Beth in here from Goody Goods. Make sure you guys go check her out. She says, hello, quilty friends. Well, hello, Beth. All righty. We have Kathleen Champ. Howdy, y'all. Long time no see. <laughs> uh, let's party with the long arms in motion. Yes. Sewing Sensations. Hello, Tucker and Courtney. You forgot Donna in there. <laughs> and I do apologize for not welcoming everybody, but we wanted to get right into quilting since they're large projects. Mm -hmm. oh, I know what I can do instead of bending over. And what would that be, my love? That would be put my machine table up. Hey, that's why you have it. I know. Thank goodness. That's better. Alrighty. Let me find a computer charger too. Maybe. Where did my charger? Oh, it's over here. George. So 
it looks like Courtney is doing swirls in the background. And like Donna said, she's doing matchstick quilting. Now we might need to have Joe ask her, how dense is she doing her matchstick quilting? It's about a half, it's about a fourth of an inch all the way. And then I started at the top at a fourth of an inch and came all the way down to half an inch. And then I'm going back for, back and forth between a half, a quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good practice to do that. If you're doing anything smaller than a half of an inch, it's always good to do like stabilizing stitches the whole way down your quilt and then go back through and fill in. I find that you get more even results doing the stabilizing that way. Yeah. That's. <laughs> yep. 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 Uh, so very Terry. Yes, that is the lion. Both the quilts are the lion foundation paper piecing that Donna and Courtney have been working on Friday and Saturday nights. Okay, so very Terry said, Tucker, would the frame a section and then quilt and then quilt in it? I struggle with not with getting puckers. The I when I first started before I even had a long arm, that was one of the the main drivers of me getting a long arm. But the the puckers you can do if you're on a long arm, that's um when you base your quilts and you use your side clamps you the only time you put these side clamps on is when you're ready to get started actually doing the quilting you don't put your side clamps on your backing or your batting when you're basting around the edges of your quilt because it'll overstretch your backing and then when you pull release that tension off of your side clamps then your backing is going to shrink back into its regular size and that's that's what you don't want but the now i lost it hang on where'd it go yeah, with not getting puckers. And especially if you're sewing like in one direction or the other, Donna's sewing in one direction. She's sewing from the left to the right, but she's leaving enough space in between that that fabric has enough wiggle room. Uh, also, she has her clamps on, she has her tension, but if you're doing like a, a pin basting or things like that, it's good to, you know, sew around the edge and stabilize your blocks sort of like stitch in the ditch before you go into more detail. Right, Donna? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Makes it so much easier. Yeah. And especially if you don't have a long arm, stitch one row of your blocks in the ditch and then stitch them in the other direction. That helps eliminate that. Whoa. That helps eliminate a lot of the puckers, because if you sew in one direction, then you sew the other direction, you're going to have some fabric shifting in there. Absolutely. But if you sew all in the same direction, the fabric is going to be pushed in one direction and it'll lay flat. Yep. Let's see, we have our Queen Shelly in here, Queen Quilts 22. Hey, Tucker, Donna, and Courtney. Julie Quilts is in here. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, basting in the ditch. Yeah, uh, most free motion quilters tell you to sort of start in the center, and that's that really is a great place to start if your quilt has um, a medium amount of fullness in it, because then it it distributes that fullness out, and you can sort of trim it off and things like that if you're in like a border and things like that. But if your quilts lay relatively square, then all you have to do is just stitch in between the sashing or stitch in the ditch in one direction and it'll be fine. So you're very welcome. Guess who, Nancy? Hello, all. Tell Ross that hello. <laughs> never seen, Julie Quilt said, I've never seen Donna Longarm before. That's <laughs> talented. <laughs> Oh, God love her. Now, Donna, are you using your channel locks? Yes, I am. That's good. Absolute. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, everything's going to get pulled all over. Dahlia's in here. Hello, Donna, Tucker, and everyone. And then she just took it out because it was, there was a typo. <laughs> All right. Quilt Queen 22, Miss Shelley, Donna, how far apart are you putting your matchstick lines? Hey, what, babe? How? Yep. They are exactly half inch right now. One half inch. Yep, I'm going back and forth between half inch and a fourth inch. Yep. Yep. So I'm just going to talk a little bit while we're watching the masterpieces come together. Um, <laughs> Keep talking, baby. Right. So where, for, in Donna's case, where would you use this matchstick quilting, right? I'll give sort of a little lesson. If, if your quilt is laying very, very flat, and as we can see, Donna's quilt is pretty, pretty flat for a, a foundation paper piece quilt. So in this case, it would be great to do matchstick quilting on because matchstick quilting, when you're doing it, you usually quilt in one direction, then you go back and quilt in the same direction. And doing that can push your extra fabric if your quilt has extra fullness in it, 
it can push all that extra fullness to the right or left side, depending on which side you're stitching to. And then you can create a problem because your left border or edge could be perfectly straight. And then your right border or edge could be wonky and looking like hills and valleys. And that's not what we want. So the only really time that you're doing this is in, your, in an area or on a quilt that is laying very, very flat or starch to high heavens. But uh, so like what Courtney's doing with swirls and things like that and, you know, ruler work and minimal ru ruler work, that's about, I would say, half an inch so apart. That's good for quilts that have a little bit of extra play in them. You know, we all hold our quilts up and show everyone at the Quilters Guild and things like that. And that actually causes stretching on your quilt. So pretty much everyone's quilt has just a little bit of fullness in it. Um, so there's where your swirly designs come in. The swirlier your designs get, the more fullness is drawn up. Uh, I don't know. It's way past my frame of mind right now to explain how doing a swirl draws it up it but does. it really does and but I'm sure Courtney and Donna can really attest to that um if there was an extra full you do the swirl yep that's right but so the straight lines and the things like that they're good for really really flat quilts but things like loopy meanders paisley swirls things like that those are really great for taking up some a lot of fullness. So Becca, hi friends. Uh, I'm hitting the hay, but wanted to stop in and say hi. All right, then hello and welcome to the 17th day club. <laughs> so proud of her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Congratulations, Miss Ma'am, on your 17K. Mm -hmm. All right. I did matchstick quilting on a mini quilt. It turned out okay for first try. My learn my here we go. My lines weren't exact. Uh, the good thing is I didn't wait. The good thing is it didn't get out of square. Yes. You so careful. Yep. Matchstick quilting is a very delicate balance. Um, you know, even if you're doing like a dense piano keyboard, or for instance, it's because uh, your borders are, you know, the edge of your quilt, which are stitched down and stabilized. And, you know, you're pushing fabric in one direction constantly. And, you know, there's always going to be a little pleat on the back, even with my quilts, even though I don't put the stretchers on until after I'm ready to get started. There's always like an eighth of an inch just folded over itself on itself Yeah, because I'm going in one direction and there is absolutely no way to eliminate that, that I have found. And Becca said, what is matchstick quilting? Matchstick quilting is straight yeah. line quilting that is denser than what would you say? Like a quarter of an inch? Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm trying to see, here we go. I have an example, right handy. So like here, the very, very dense lines right there. These are like 16th of an inch apart. This is matchstick quilting. So if you put matchstick quilting up against something that isn't as dense, it really makes it stand out. It is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> And here's one. Tucker, what is a good long arm for beginners? Um, I would say first go on like Facebook Marketplace or things like that if you're balling on a budget. Um, 
Facebook Marketplace has some great machines. That's where I got my first frame. I didn't get my machine from Marketplace, but I got the frame and the computer from there. You know, see if you can't find companies like Grace Company. That's a good one. Baby Lock is a good one. Like the 16 range Berninas. And if you're looking on Marketplace and you can find a used Gamel, you're golden for a good price. You know, so, but I would definitely recommend the Grace Company and Baby Lock and Bernina for starters. Yep, you hide that fourth of an inch under the, the binding. So very Terry, yes. Yep. All right, Julie Quilts, can you go left to right, then back right to left? Yes. If, yes, you can. Uh, I've, you're still sort of going to have the same problem at like the edges and things like that, but it's not, it's just, it might distribute your fabric a little more evenly. But if you're, like I said, if your quilt has fullness in it, then you're going to get those problems where on one on, in between two quilting lines, your fabric is going to look like it's being pushed to the left. And then the one below it, it's going to look like it's being pushed to the right. Yep. You know what I mean? And, you know, then's when you have to really have a very, very flat quilt. But yes, you definitely can go left to right and back and forth. Just be mindful that if, if, you, if you're doing walking foot quilting with your walking foot, then you could really go back and forth because you're it's taking the fabric under at the same time. So yes, definitely. Yep, you're welcome. You know, and just the things I say, you know, about going, you know, left to right or whatever, that's, it's, it really is situational and it's hard to describe, you know, without any context, but I highly, highly recommend just jump in and try it, right? That's the only way you're going to learn is just by jumping in and trying it. And if it doesn't work out, then you know what not to do next time. Right. Try it and on a small piece. Yep. And that's what quilting is learning number one from others and then number two learning from yourself All right, here's a good one. Christy. Yep, Christy Claire says, how long have each of you been long arming? So I will go first since they're both in the middle. Donna's who knows where and Courtney's <laughs> in the middle of something. Um, I have been long arm quilting now for three years for customers and I would not trade it for the world. Okay, whoever wants to go next. Um, wait, I don't know if Courtney's talking or not. Five years. She said five years. Been doing uh, years. Five years, Courtney said. <laughs> I'm the baby. Mm -hmm. I'm the baby the bunch. Go figure, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Since June. So six months. Basically. Mm hmm Cool. Hey, but you're doing pretty good. Always up for a challenge. That's right. I wouldn't trade it for nothing, though. All right, wait a minute. Uh, and Nancy, or guess who Nancy says, do long arms have walking feet on them? No, but what long arms, most long arms have are different feet on them. You know, just like your domestic machine has the walking foot, the piecing foot, the zipper foot, things like that. Long arms have different, hang on, different feet. So this is the ruler foot. So sort of like for what Donna's doing, if she wasn't using her channel locks or what Courtney's doing, 
they're both using probably the ruler foot. Yep. But if you have a quilt that has bulky seams, you know, you use your spoon foot and, you know, there's so many different feet out there, but long arms do not have feed dogs. Long arms are built to go in any direction at any single time. So there's no need for feed dogs. So there's no walking foot. The only type of mechanical action to a long arm quilting foot, as you can see in Courtney's little picture down there. Yep, there's the ruler plate that you use when you're doing ruler work. And then Courtney's foot where her needle is. Yep, go up one where your like foot goes up and down. Yeah, that's right there where Courtney is pointing at right behind her needle. That is the only mechanical part of the foot. So the foot just goes up and down like on your regular sewing machine, but there's no feed dogs underneath it. All right, let's see. Uh, Tucker, what do you use to attach the quilt on your leaders? And we can all answer this. I right now am pinning, which I'm going to cave in after Christmas and buy red snappers because pinning is just not working anymore. Um. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Donna uses red snappers, right, Donna? There, you're going to get the question. Mm -hmm. I'm showing you. Uh -huh. For anyone that doesn't know what the red snappers are, they're very pliable. When you first get them, they do not bend like this, and you're going to think someone punked you into something <laughs> awful. But you get them good and hot with a hair dryer, and they become more pliable straight away otherwise you struggle getting them in when you're putting it on but other than that it's fabulous mm -hmm. yes it is hopping feet yep there we go dawn says hopping feet and that's exactly what it is it just hops every time your machine takes a stitch your foot goes up so that the thread has time to go around the bobbin case all right yo patty g Question for me, <laughs> uh, will you be making the elephant abstractions quilt with Courtney and Donna in January? Right now, I am not planning on it, but who knows? You never know what my crazy self might do. So I use zipper leaders just to do. Mm -hmm. Now, do you sew onto your leaders? Yes, if I have the time and day and already prepped. Typically, mm -hmm. not always. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm literally just pen. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'll say, because some people might not know what the zippered leaders are or the benefits, zippered leaders are a very, very easy way to take quilts on and off your long arm. So it's just like the zipper of your jacket. So just like my zipper can come apart, I can interchange, there we go, the different leaders. So I can have one quilt attached to one set of leaders, and that can be my custom quilt for the week. And then I can have another set of leaders that I have prepared for edge to edge quilts. And on my machine, I have an extra bar underneath where I can store quilts using my zippers. So I just unzip from my pickup bar and zip it onto my storage bar. And that quilt is still laying flat. It's just rolled up. Uh, let's see. What about the, the sew tiles? And I'm guessing that those, well, I know that they are. Those are the magnetic snap things. I tried those out at the, the sew tidies. Yeah. They're very expensive and you have to sew them into your, um, yeah. And your later. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a quilter and her name is Georgia Stahl. She's one of the Gamel educators. And I know she uses the so tidy. So you'll have to go over to her page and check that out. So there's Beth at Goody Goods. She's so tidy. Or Beth. Yeah.
All righty, let's see. Here's a question from <clears throat> Miss Quill Queen 22. Tucker, what design would you use for a man's quilt? Can you tell I'm on live? I have something in my eye. What design would you use on a man's quilt with rectangles? My, my first instinct when I know that a quilt is going to be for a man is to go with something that reminds me of like a wood grain design. That's always a good one. And something that's not, you can do a meander. Meander works good. You just want that all over basic texture. Nothing too fancy, nothing too particular. Just start wobbling some straight lines and they'll be happy. <laughs> So yeah, but my, usually when I get customer quilts and they say, this is for my son, grandson, blah, 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 blah. Usually my first choice is the wood grain design. And if you're doing free motion quilting, uh, I would definitely check out Angela Walters wood grain design tutorial on YouTube. I've seen people are buying name tag magnets, much less expensive. That could be an option or something to test out. Faith, might have, I might have to give that a try. Wonder Rogers, hello. Hmm. You what? You're welcome, Shelly. <laughs> Julie Quilt says Joe needs to learn to quilt Donna's quilts. <laughs> mm. It's funny. where I thought I heard Joe needs to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker, did you say Joe needs to learn? I didn't say it. Julie Quilts did. So I said, thank you. I would love that. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, hey, we have Teresa Louise in here. Hey. How are you, Teresa? She can come on with you if she wants. Hey, that'd be great. Yep. Go ahead and give her the link if she wants. Would you like the link, Teresa? Finally getting some cooler weather here in St. Augustine, Florida, and wearing tank tops and shorts to work. Must be nice. <clears throat> Where can I get that plane ticket? Yeah, I just turned on the air conditioner up here because I'm sweating it up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you just need to open a window. Hello. 
<laughs> They're blocked. What? I need to open a window, Chucker said. I said, I can't. They're blocked. Yeah. Got none. I used to have a window. <laughs> and I Locked needed it. a design wall. Locked the design wall. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it is so cold here in Pennsylvania. It's, and I know Maryland's cold too. Uh, just today, me and my <laughs> me and my brother, we were going to do a mail run, and the post office is only about a five or ten minute scooter ride down the road. We didn't even make it three minutes out in the cold, and we said we can't do this. <laughs> it's too cold. All right, let's see. Wait a minute. No, thanks. I'm still sick and a hot mess. Well, hey, you take care of you, Teresa. <laughs> Lori Clay Clarkey, I think I'm reading that right. Yep. Said, I made it. It's been a while. Who's that one? Claire, or no, not Claire, Lori. Oh, mm -hmm. glad welcome. you could make it. Faith, I'm from the central PA area. So, chilly. Dahlia says, calling it a night. Quilt, oh. quilt RE, looking good, Donna and Courtney. Thank you. Get some rest. <laughs> yes. Teresa says, are Courtney, <clears throat> whoa. Are Courtney and Donna racing? Uh, showing two nope. different styles. Nope, Carmen wants to know if racing. Nope, they're not racing. Just two different types of quilting. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And you know, when you're doing, because they're working on the same quilt, they're working on the Lion Foundation paper pieced. And it's amazing to see when they're, when they're both done quilting their quilts, how the same quilt, different quilting looks completely different. It's just, you know, especially if you're a long armor and you get the same quilt in your quilting area and you put a different edge to edge or a different design in a certain area, it's amazing to see how those different designs really add to the quilt in different ways.
Yo, Patty G says, Courtney does great work. I like her swirl work. Is that what they are called? Swirls. So, Yo, Patty G likes your swirls, Courtney. Thank you. And is there a specific name for the swirls you're doing? I don't know. Or are they just generic swirls? I watched you and Tiffany. That's how I measureize the movement between you two. Oh, well, then I guess they're just, you know, they're just your basic swirls. Um, And I'm sure me and Tiffany learned how to do our swirls from Angela Walters. So Angela Walters is the, the, the beginner friendly swirl and just all things beginner friendly quilting. So if you're interested, definitely go over there and check her out. Two degrees of a high of 12 degrees. I have the air conditioner on. <laughs> Whoever at Shelly Clark, wherever she's at. Oh, well, she can keep the cold. Yeah. Just look at the weather. It's supposed to be down to two degrees of a high of 12. Better her than me. Yeah. Well, hey, if that's the case, I think it's time for a beach vacation. I'm in. Uh -huh. I'm in. Tell mom back the car. Uh -huh. I've been trying to convince mom. I'm like, so when are we getting on a plane? When are we going to like the Bahamas or somewhere warm? So my bones can stop hurting. It stays warm for Donna all year long. Uh huh. That's right. We got to think about the journey, mom. Uh huh. I don't think our machines would like the humidity, though. Yeah. See, I know my machine, since it's made out of the table and the machine, it's all made out of steel. In the mornings when I come down here, it gets it's cold down here. So I have to cut the air on a little higher. And in the mornings, my machine doesn't run as fast because my machine is so cold. So the climate can really affect how machines sew. You know, sometimes you get thread breaks when your machine's cold because the, the thread break sensor isn't moving at the right speed or the motor isn't going fast enough. So it will give you a fit. Right? Cold yeah. for any machines, no matter what they are. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's why the cars don't run right when it's cold out to start it up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one more strip and I'm going to be done. My back's killing me. I'll be done on this. Yeah, you can sit down and talk to him. Yeah. Okay, he's been an encyclopedia of information. He is amazing. Yeah, he is. I couldn't have been more blessed. Mm -hmm. He's the son you always wanted. That's like, like having the answer man on your channel. <laughs> yeah, I told Joe he was going to have to read chat. He's no more. I know they was going to be asking questions about the world. Mm -hmm. There's no way I can. Sheila Gage, hello. Just got back from a Christmas party. How fun. <laughs> Guess who Nancy said, I don't run right when I'm cold. <laughs> I get that one. I'm sure everyone else here gets that one. It's just something about the cold that makes you want to lay in bed for a couple extra minutes. What'd she say? <laughs> she said, I don't run right in the cold. 
I don't either. I don't run. <laughs> all this stuff gets wiggling. We're all destitute for greatness, I'm telling you. Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my. Teresa Louise said, my machine does not like cold. I keep a heater on at 50 degrees when not sewing. Yes. You have to. Yep. Our kids need to be warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, Tucker was dead on with this. 100%. Mm-hmm. what with the 60 weight yes i'm telling you right now i love it mm-hmm. i'm a converted soul mm-hmm. don't steal my kona 60 weight though what are you talking about uh-huh <laughs> mm-hmm. i am just gonna bury the thread and it'll be ready for tomorrow Dawn asks, what kind of long arm does Donna and Courtney have? I have a baby lock go lines. I have a friend in that kid 24 on a 13 foot frame. There you go. I couldn't hear what she said. Uh, she, Courtney said that she had a Bernina Q24 on a 13 foot frame with yeah. the Humatic software. Yeah, you know, I don't have all the fancy. I am the fancy. And mine's <laughs> a 10 foot frame with a two foot extension. I could watch her do that. Like when you're doing your free motion I, I just watch it for hours mm-hmm. I'm probably freezing you honey you can shut that off I'm okay, I'm good. I've got the air conditioner blowing right down his back I was like Whew. I'm not sure if it was like hot flash or hot flash <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, baby, thank you so much for reading my chat tonight and answering everything. Yeah. Well, hey, here's a question to Tucker. Do you use 60 weight in the top? Yes. I use, like Donna does, if I do like heavy matchstick quilting on a whole quilt, then I use it on the top and bottom sometimes, depending on the type of thread that they want on the top, things like that. But definitely on the bottom. Um. It, I like to use 60 weight thread if I'm doing like micro quilting because 60 weight is a very thin thread and it just recedes into the fabric and all you see is the texture. Yep. All right, let's see. Yeah, I did a couple practice pieces just looking and I, I'm loving the 60 weight. Mm-hmm. I had never used it. Uh, let's see. Kathy said, are you using 60 weight for the top and the bobbin? Maybe that's my problem. I always want to quilt with 40 weight. So what are you using now, Donna? I'm using the 60 weight in the bobbin and then I'm using the variegated and it's, I didn't look. It's variegated and I just put a new spool on and I honestly didn't look. Mm-hmm. Give me a second. It's signature... 90. Mm -hmm. That's what's in the top. Yep. So the 40 weight, if I'm just doing straight edge to edge quilting, I use glide when that is a 40 weight thread glide comes in 40 and 60 weight, but for edge to edge quilting, I like to use the 40 weight because it's, it's a thicker thread and I can turn my machine up the whole way and it does not break. So the, the glide and the 60 weight that Donna is using, that is a polyester thread. Mm -hmm. And the reason I like to use polyester thread is because it's not as linty, you know, especially for, 
us long armors, we invested all this money into our machines and the lint causes problems. And Donna can tell you that. I, I just did this whole section, did a bobbin change and I had zero lint in my bobbin case. All of my other thread, when I'm doing 100% cotton, I'm on my knees, giving it a blow and wiping it out and then re-oiling. It's mm-hmm. still showing oil in my bobbin casing. Mm-hmm. I, I am converted. Yep. Yeah. I and the polyester, the polyester is great if you're a very fast quilter because uh, companies like Glide, So Fine and Isocord they're made for embroidery or fast industrial quilting machines. So they're made to go 7,000 stitches a minute, you know, and so they don't break or shred as easy. Mm -hmm. Perfect for long arming. (laughs) When you're in Tiffany's racing. (laughs) Right. Teresa Louise, I use 40 weight in the top and 50 in the bobbin. Yep. That works too. I'm telling you what, I'm a converted soul, no doubt. I mean, it really is personal preference with thread, right? I know there's some people that say, oh, well, if I'm making a quilt out of cotton thread, it needs to have cotton quilting, right? Mm -hmm. And that's great. I have cotton thread here that if you say you want cotton, then I'll just put cotton in and quilt it and we'll be done. But the reason that... I like polyesters because I can have 10 layers of thread build up on top of each other and it feels the same as one layer of thread. Absolutely. Especially what I, what I like, Tucker, honestly, is when I first did my test piece, and I'm not kidding, I was just doing all kinds of meandering up and down, making check blocks and all kinds of different things. Mm-hmm. And there was no nothing. I mean... I could have went more dense and mm-hmm. it was just given that right consistency of what I was looking for all these months. Yeah. Yeah. And especially if you're doing things like feathers or your thread painting or things like that in that, cause you don't want to, for me anyway, I don't want to be snuggling up with a quilt, having this rough cotton thread with 10 layers that sticks out this far rubbing up against my skin. I want to feel the softness of the fabric. So then's when I, tried the glide thread and found that that was it. And I love it. It's a game changer. And I think anybody ought to at least try it. Mm -hmm. And I even took my regular thread and then I went with what you sent me back with and you can pull on it. There's no breakage. I mean, you can put a lot of pressure there and there's no breakage. Yep. 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 Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Do you have customers that don't want poly? My locals only want cotton. There was, I have one, one lady that doesn't like the polyester because with polyester, there's different brands, but with glide, I know for sure that glide has like a medium to light sheen in it. That means that it reflects on light sort of like in like this shirt here, you know, it, it reflects a little bit. And some people don't like that on their quilt, but some people do, you know, it adds that extra special touch. So it really is personal preference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's a good one. Uh, Chris, Christy says, why do you use different weights in the top or bottom? What purpose does that serve? The, the thread that Donna's using is a bottom line thread, and that's by Superior Threads, which is a 60 weight, as we've been talking about. Number one reason is the bobbins hold a lot more, which is exactly what you want when you're a long arm quilter. Because you can, you know, you can quilt more passes without changing your bobbin, right? Mm-hmm. Your second reason is that your thread blends in more. So it's just your texture standing out and things like that. So those are the big main reasons. Brenda, thank you for subscribing, sweetheart. And welcome. Tucker, do you have anything small that you could show them the difference between like what yours is using the thinner thread? 
the polyester. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was done. Hang on. It's unbelievable the difference in just the visual. Okay. Ann Miller, thank you, sweetheart, for subscribing. Okay, I'm going to show the quilt, Miss Quilt. Because that I used cotton on the back. Well, okay. The front. So with cotton thread, you can see there, maybe not as good, but let me try to get one of the stems right there. Yep. See here, there, how all that thread build up? There's like six layers of thread coming together right there. And that is very, very noticeable, right? But then if we come over here, and I'm trying to see, like right here, right up there at the top of that, where these little feathers come out of the straight lines, there's about eight layers of thread right there. And it just looks a little more shiny. I can run my hand over that and I can't feel any variation or extra texture because that thread just blends into itself and it doesn't build on top of itself mm -hmm. like a cotton would. I tell you what, if you'd have just told me to go home and do it, I'd have said, okay, I'll put that in the mental notes. But when you sent it and told me to try it, I was like, okay, I'll try it half-heartedly. No, I loved it. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes you can teach an old dog a new <laughs> trick. Uh <-huh. laughs> hey, I'll teach you new tricks all these years and never had any luck at it. Did you hear him? Uh-huh. He's been trying to teach this old dog new tricks for 28 years and hasn't been able to. Young stud comes in and teaches me something new within a week. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, ain't he something else? Um, Just remember that freezer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Stand him up in it. Keep him a couple years <laughs> He says we're sick. Uh huh. Trying to see what she's doing. Looks like pebbles or swirls. The swirls. The loopies. Are you saying she's loopy? <laughs> mm -mm. She's a couple hours behind us, I think. I think so. Mm. No, is it one? One hour. That's it. He says it's only one hour. Oh, well, that's still only 10 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Courtney, that's looking really pretty, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. She's not talking. No, she's focused. What is, where is the blah, 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 blah. Where is the best place to get glide thread? I like to order all of my glide thread from Linda's Electric Quilters. And um, also, if you've ever, no one could have missed it, the 12 days of quilt miss. So let's just go ahead and go there. If you have missed it, slip on in and give it a look. See, um, Tucker and I would be honored as well as everyone else. Um, if you wanted to win one of the quilts, you need to just enter the contest. It's really simple. You look for the, Joe calls it the magic word, the secret <laughs> word, you know, and you enter them. And 12 chances to win 12 different quilts. Mm -hmm. I call that a win-win. Yep. Contest closes yeah. tomorrow night. 12 very unique quilts. At midnight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's the 17th. Mm -hmm. Then on Monday, the 19th, Tucker and I will be live on my channel. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to be getting rid of two quilts. Mm -hmm. And I'm just having a difficult time. You know, I'm not sure if I want to get rid of it. Are yeah. you struggling? I know. I'm looking at mine and I'm like, do I have enough fabric to make another one for myself? <laughs> I can't say that because I made two. I know. You got a second one you got yeah, my second one. Different. Yeah, it's different. It's not as cool as the first, right. but my um after quilt, it's going for my 5,000K subscribers. Mm -hmm. So maybe Monday, I might say, can you pull me another? Yeah. 
and we won't tell them if they're not in the chat, they'll mm-hmm. just get a little surprise. That's right. So stay tuned. You never know what's up our sleeves. Mm-hmm. Put a contest in Monday. Yeah. Tucker's got all the data on his end. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You weren't so feeling. We can pull an extra one? Me? Yeah. No problem, huh? He won't have any problem. Oh, okay. You would have to do it from the chat. Tucker's just going to, if I tell him, he'll just, the random picker will just yeah, we can do random pick up again. Yeah. So mm-hmm. who knows? We'll That's see what right. the mood is Monday. That's right. Uh-huh. I have to do my, well, we'll do the giveaway. Mm-hmm. One yours. And then I'll upload that to my end later that night. And then I do my 2000 subscriber giveaway. What are you giving away? Well, I announced the winner for the 2000 giveaway. I did the whole cloth quilt out of the vintage tablecloth. And then in between, I'm going to be quilting up my 3000 subscriber giveaway. (laughs) Well, you really hit the nail on the head. We have worked hard. Yes. Very hard. Congratulations. Thank you. They said congratulations. Uh, I did a half of the half of it today to make sure that it was going to turn out and it really did so i saw what you were doing and if that's it i wish i could enter because i'm telling you what that baby's sweet what the one that was on today Mm -hmm. oh no 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 that's a customer one it's okay ask her if it's for sale (laughs) right (laughs) oh my goodness your quilting is impeccable Mm wow Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if anybody in here needs anyone to do any long arm quilt, we've got Tucker. So all you have to do is Google in Tucker and he's going to show up. He His one name stands alone within the quilting world. And then we've got Courtney who also quilts. Teresa Louise quilts for customers and Beth of Goody Goods. I do limited but I cannot do to the level of these Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. someday. Yep. I haven't had any complaints. (laughs) Yeah. It's complaints are hard to come by. Yep. They see the love. Yeah. They just love getting a finished quilt that they can snuggle up with. Absolutely. Oh, Mm -hmm. there I go again. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, how many is in the chat, love? We Can you tell? 65 right now. All wow. right, let me see. 65. You know, I got to do something. <laughs> um, let me look around here. I'm oh, feeling Christmassy. I got new, I'm man. feeling a little Christmassy. I got, well, now you're going to make me go do some work. Yeah, I'm going to make you go to work. Well, let me see. There's always something delicious in these drawers to give away. Hmm. Don't want to do that one. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. I, I can't leave them all Oh, don't worry about it, honey. Uh-huh. I'll figure out a way to do it. I'm looking. I want to make it fun. I thought it was ever here. That's what I was looking for. Uh Hmm. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love a good panel? A panel. I am, baby. (laughs) Teresa's probably like, how do I enter? Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> is she still with us? Yes, she is. She can enter because I know she loves pianos. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you should make it things up. Honey, it's my goal to make your life rough. <laughs> <laughs> Says the evil laugh. <laughs> He's getting a set up. Uh, yes, Shelly, you could get, depending on what you want, if you want your thread to stand out a little bit, then the yeah. 40 weight. Oh, Lord, and then the air conditioner cuts on. A 40 weight is good if you want your, your quilting to stand out. But if you want your quilting to blend in and just see the texture, then I would go with 60 weight. So it's up to you. Now, Courtney will be done her quilt in about five more minutes. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I told her, I said, take your time because I won't be done until January. <laughs> but I knew this one was going to take the longest. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking the texture of it, the way it's looking. Because I'm doing like you and I talked about, I'm going all one way. Mm -hmm. And leaving enough room that I'm going to be able to come straight back. It's a Christmas panel. Mm -hmm. So very Terry isn't 60 thinner. Yes, 60 weight. 60 is thinner. It goes opposite of what you would think. It really does. Yeah. Well, when, when I know when I first started, I thought that the lower the number, the thinner the thread. But wasn't I wrong when I got my shipment in the mail? <laughs> you know but hey that's how you learn yeah we're gonna be ordering me some of this just uh -huh. saying that's right Merry christmas to me <laughs> i gotta come rob your stash hold on tucker's gonna have to watch it on his side because i have no chat no nothing mm -hmm. what is it gonna be exclamation exclamation point uh giveaway i guess are you doing it as giveaway or raffle giveaway i guess at least we'll give away i don't know <laughs> give me a second here yeah uh and the long arm and so very terry says and the long arm works well with thinner thread i'm curious don't have a long arm uh, the long arms do work with thinner thread. 60 weight is about where I would push it. The one time I did work with a invisible thread and that was there they go. a nightmare. Right. Started? They've, already, started they've already started. Mm -hmm. I didn't start it. I just now started. It. It's okay. I'm trying to see which one, which word. He can't remember whether it's giveaway or raffle. So watch the first one it says. Yep. Not there yet. Uh, showing up yet. He's trying to get it to turn on. It's mm -hmm. been asleep for a bit. Uh huh. So he might have to redo it. Mm -hmm. Everybody just stop for a second. It's not working. He's going to stop it and restart it. While we're doing that, Quilt Queen, Miss Shelley said, what color, I just went way too far. What color is good on a red and black quilt? If I get a quilt that I'm doing and I uh, am requested to do an edge to edge, I like to do like a medium to dark gray. You know, that that's a sort of an in-between of the, the darker reds per se and the, the darker blacks or grays. What do you think? Wouldn't that be a good option? I think so. Yeah. Hang on. And then up here, so very Terry, I went halfway through the question. The thinner thread, yes. 
And I told Donna this too, before she started today, I said, because you're using a thinner thread, your hook needs a little more time to, to grab that thinner thread. Cause the thicker the thread, the easier it is for your bobbin hook to grab it. So the thinner thread, you need to adjust your tension a little bit, adjust your needle size, and then go slower so that your hook has time. So with any type of thread that you use, there's going to be some adjustments, but once you know what adjustments to make and how to correctly go about using that thread, you'll be golden. Streamlabs. Amy, you did not win. <laughs> it says Amy C has won a table topper. We're not even doing a table topper. Table topper. No, I'm sorry. So it's a mistake. The raffle will not work for Becca tonight either. Okay. Uh, it's then right. it's Streamlabs issue. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write a number down. I'm going to text it to Tucker. We're both going to look for this number. Lord. Yeah, now, <laughs> and I'm even going to text it to my husband. <laughs> no. Do you want to know what it is? No, I don't want to know. It's, <laughs> it's up to you and Tucker to make sure things go on us. Too. Okay, we're going to keep it real. Keep it on us. Keeping it real. Um, we got 64 in the chat. Um, Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys, start guessing. First one that gets it. Hmm? We're both watching. That's right. The year I was born, babe. Hmm? My birth year. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was born in 1933. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still cross stitching. Oh, dear God, going so fast. I know we're going slow. Oh, Hold damn. on. Damn. Right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Melina yeah. Montoya. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let me Malia write that down. Montoya. Hold on. I got to write it down. Malia Montoya. Okay. What you need to do is email me. Joe's going to drop my email into the chat as soon as that email comes to me i will address your envelope and it'll go out some more as mail and with any luck and the, the planets all come into alignment you'll get it before christmas mm -hmm. and thank you everybody this is a little christmas blessing to all of our friends and thanking you for joining us tonight it's there. it's been fun the email is down. Woohoo! Thank you. You got it, girl. Yes. Kathleen Champ goes 64, and I couldn't. I know because you already knew my birth year, Kathleen. <laughs> so that kind of knocked you out because I wouldn't have called your name. <laughs> We're born the same year. I just said, nope. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Donna, I didn't hear it was your birth year. It's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, do any of you use, use a tension gauge? Mm -mm. I don't. I, I do this. Hang on. Thanks, Elena. Snail mail. Yeah, I can't mail this any other way, but snail mail. See, when I do mine, I like, for some reason, this is a little off. It's a little tight. Yeah, just a little. So as you can see, we have Mr. Dangly right here. What you want is your bobbin case to stand up in your hand and for the thread to pull off. So just enough tension for your bobbin case to lift up, but never to leave your hand. That's always a good gauge for me. And that works well for all thread weights. Yep. I'm and not Tucker sorry. told me to adjust my tension. And I was like, I don't really like to mess with my tension. It's going to be okay. Put that in. And I went, oh, I got it adjusted. Let me find my little handy screwdriver. Huh? 
If I went to check though, I'd have been all jacked up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'll be right back. I'm going to slip over here and find an envelope for this. Mm -hmm. Christy says, thank you. I appreciate all three of you and your guidance. Yes, you're very welcome. You're going to get ready to see my face for a second. Uh, let's see. Brenda Foley, hi. She says, hi, Tucker. Hello. Wanda Rogers, have a very blessed Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody from all of us in case we don't get to see you. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. No, so Terry, he didn't. He didn't want to join the fun. This isn't kind of his thing. What? Making the animal head. Did you do the lion? No, I did not do the lion. And right would now, you like, would you like to do the elephants? Please. Never know. I was busy working on that monster over there. <laughs> so, hey, never you never know. know. I might pop on. He'll pop on. You never know. <laughs> you never know. You know, I'm going to. Yeah, she's going to harass me until I say yes. Yes. You're going to get his arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to know, will you come on and sell a lot, a, um, elephant with us yes you have to wait and find out <laughs> people want to know well hey you never know what'll show up in your mailbox <laughs> <laughs> send it you to the right address <laughs> yeah yeah i tried to pick him up at his old place it didn't work it was three streets away <laughs> he didn't want to walk in the rain uh-uh no, okay. The next slide that we're gonna do on this quilt to where we're just gonna show you, it'll be already off the long arm, already squared and bound, is not gonna be till December the 30th. There'll be no live next week as we would all like to spend some time with our family for Christmas. And um, when we do come back on that, we're also gonna be starting the process of Courtney's already picked her colors for her elephant. I've already got mine picked. I've got mine in their said um, zipper bags per se, and they're labeled. The next step on the um, elephant is where we're going to be laying them out and teaching you how to either just trace them or trace them to freezer paper, whichever method you would like to use. Courtney will also, she's going to do a test between now and then Someone instructed her on possibly pre-cutting some of her pieces with fabric so that she'll be able to streamline a little bit quicker with less waste. So she's going to do like a um, just a little FPP pattern to see if it's going to work before she moves forward with instructing anyone on that. So you can do it either or. I'm going to go with I'm going to cut off a hunk and sew it on. I'm okay with the waist because I'm not going to jack it up and it still be messed up. So I'm going to go with what you know. I am doing the elephant. One of my granddaughters loves elephants. Awesome, Phyllis. That is fabulous. Everybody in the chat, if you are doing the elephant along with us, please let me know. I need, a, I'm kind of getting ahead to count and writing down a few names. I have um, several that's wrote down. Anybody that would like to join us in the in, on the Zoom, you are welcome to join for hands-on instruction along the way for the whole process, kind of like what I did with the Bargello. But it, no, it's going to be live. 
email is in there again. What you'll need to do is shoot me an email in the um, subject box. Just write elephants and then just write me, yes, I, I need the Zoom link. And we will compile a list and get that out. I think it's going to be a fun one this next go round. I'm trying to do my elephant as authentic looking as possible. And it's going to look like it's walking out of like sunset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm using that blue grunge. So it's mm -hmm. going to look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. squeal. Joe says he's even going to try to make a way for it to. <laughs> However, the elephant does. <laughs> oh my god watch when we hold them up he'll have some kind of a thing over here that's going to make the elephant sound yeah, yeah. he will i wish he could let that lion in the nose? um i don't know she fell down in my boot um do they have a fish yes they do uh, Valacraft has a lot of different patterns, and over the course of the next year, we will be going one pattern at a time. Um, we've done the lion, the next one's the elephant, and then we're going to segue from that on to something else. Go ahead and show it, Court. This is Courtney's last elephant that she has done. She did it with multiple colors, mm -hmm. and that one's already been blessed to a new home, so she cannot show it tonight. Mm -hmm. And I think it turned out pretty good. Hoping your Christmas is all you hope for. Warm wishes. Thank you, Brenda Foley. It looks large and overwhelming. I'm staying a spectator. So, Terry, I promise you, girl, it's not. If it was, trust me, girl, I'd be sitting back one. I'll, I'll read chat. <laughs> it's not that bad. You break it. It's kind of like... <laughs> How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? <laughs> the old saying, you know, yeah. you break it up in little stacks of 10 and you do 10 pieces a week. Or if it goes quick, we'll do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And over the course of four weeks, six weeks, let me see, there's 98 pieces plus five. I'm trying to calculate. Um, we should have it done in a month. Month of online sewing. Mm -hmm. because Courtney and I always do Friday and Saturday when we're doing this. So that'll bust it all the way from start to finish. Once we kick it off sewing, Donnie, do you have instructions for pillow case dresses for dress a girl? I found the sale on fabric. So I got a stash. You're going to love this. <laughs> My newest video is coming out and I believe it's going to roll out um, Monday morning, Monday Monday morning, morning eight at 8 a.m. It's going to be for which pattern is that one that we did? The one you did this morning. <laughs> M4797. McCall. Yeah. Yes, I've got it all. <laughs> I'm batting a thousand. We did so many videos today. I'm trying to remember which day what's going out. It's the McCall 5797 pattern. That's going to roll out on Monday, 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern, and it's going to go in graphic detail, and I really broke that pattern down. I piggyback stack when I was cutting, so I'm getting two and three dresses at a time. You do not have to do that. It just makes my life a little um, quicker, per se. Mm -hmm. um, Terry McBriar, let me see who made it, Ying with Donna. Hi, how are y'all tonight? Wondering if you knew Susan Shade. Susan started her own channel. If you no way, get out of town. She started a channel and she didn't tell us. That little rascal. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do with her? Mm. Teresa, honey, thank you for letting us know. I'm going to have to call her tomorrow. <laughs> She's getting in under our wire. Um, this will be my first FPP. Um, what you won't do for those grandkids. Absolutely. Oh, there it again. <laughs> I'm trying to not do that. I'm going to keep um, a counter. Yeah, you need a counter for that. And Joe needs one for what's the other thing I'd say all the time. He had to cut out of my videos when we were editing for the Christmas. Having, uh, um... Having said that. 
Mm -hmm. With that being said. Yeah, with that being said. There you go. Because 43 times in one video. Now, come on. <laughs> Yo, Patty G, will you be making the tiger abstract next year? Abs yes. Yvonne, <laughs> welcome. And thank you for subscribing. I have a whole stash, but they're tucked away up under my long arm. I am going to um, get my calendar out over the weekend and I'm going to list when they're going to be rolling out so that you'll be able to go ahead and order ahead and get those. And I'll, I'll also have my Amazon link rolling out for when each pattern is going to be and when we're going to be sewing it. But I want to get with Courtney and find out if this is one she's interested in sewing with me or if someone else wants to. Some of them, I don't know if she wants to sew a chicken or not, but someone requested a chicken and that looks like a two week sew if that. Oh, somebody loves Teresa McGraw. Loves all the cool. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Um, we loved doing the quilts. It was fast, fabulous and fun. Mm -hmm. Maybe not uh, fast. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, how do you like that water bottle? I like it. So if you ask Donna, she has one. I had to ask her first. She asked me if I liked my bottle. She told me she was going to Walmart to pick up some, one item. The batting. Batting. And she comes back with a matching bottle. I think she wants to be my twin. <laughs> I said, I'm trying to give up soda. She wants to be just like you. When she's she wants to grow up and be just like me. <laughs> Old and grumpy. <laughs> Um, I have three dresses table? made. Yes, Sheila. Um, let me see. Shelly Clark, I have three dresses made. When should we send them to you? You can send them anytime. You can send those to my P.O. box. It's P.O. box 5102, Cress of Town, Maryland, 21505. Yeah. I know where our address is. <laughs> Tiger Abstract has a background of palm leaves. It looks awesome. That's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Twinsies. I know she's trying. She just got to get some um, wisdom lines. <laughs> Susan's channel name is Susan Sewing Sensations. Is it okay that I put it here? Absolutely, Teresa. Mm -hmm. I think that would be fabulous. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I'm just taken back that that girl didn't tell us and she, I haven't talked to her all day. <laughs> that crazy kid. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all have to hunt for her um, channel. Hold on. Give me just a second and I'll get that link dropped straight away for her. What is it? What's it called? It's Sewing Solutions with Susan. Sewing Solutions with Susan. Yeah. yeah I want her link dropped. I have a, a friend that evidently has just started a channel. Are you sure it's not Sewing Sensations with Susan? Yeah, that's it. Sewing Sensations with Su Susan. So anyway, if y'all wouldn't do me a little favor and... Just go over and check her channel out. She's only got what two, three videos. I don't know how long she's been doing this now. A couple of days. Mm -hmm. So go just subscribe, give her a thumbs up, let her know that someone out there is um trying to help her grow. Say Donna sent you. Mm -hmm. She would love it. Mm -hmm. Um if you're enjoying the channel, consider following so you know when we go live. Uh, um, handmade by Ying. She quilted her first quilt on her long arm. Today. No way. I am so proud of her. Mm -hmm. She just showed me in Facebook Messenger. She is such a doll. So Joe just dropped her channel link for me. So please click on that link. Let's get her up above 100. Mm -hmm. If everybody in this chat would just slip over when she wakes up tomorrow morning and she hits a hundred, how cool is that going to be? That'd be wonderful, really. 
I really think we need to do it. It says no content. I subscribed. Thank you. Everybody just go subscribe. It's going to be fun. I'll send her a message in the morning and say, hey, anything new? <laughs> See if she tells me. I'm sorry, Donna. Let me get it right. Under the live section. Yeah, not you have to. Yeah, look yeah. under the live. She got three videos up there. Um, the boys are checking it out now, and it, you have to check under the live section. Evidently, she's going live. And she's got one, two, three. Susan four. is learning so fast; it's crazy. I know. She's like a little sponge, and it's kind of like watching a little flower come out of its little cocoon, mm -hmm. and it's gonna bloom. I am so proud of her. She did lives. Um, Donna Strunz, let me give you the right one. So, yes, Joe's got the right one. Beautiful. Susan has a view live video. I am so proud of her. Everybody slip over there. It means the world to me and Tucker mm -hmm. and Courtney. If y'all would go over and just ring that bell for notifications. It looks like she's doing some lives. And um, let's get her subscribed. She's got 65 subscribers right now. She's so close. Okay, I've got 66 in the chat. And I don't believe all 65 of you have subscribed to her. So if you haven't, slip over and give her a subscribe. Mm -hmm. Give it a week. See if you like what she's got. If you don't, she's not your cup of tea. Unsubscribe and move on. If she is your cup of tea, hang you got to give her an ounce of grace and mercy. Remember, she's new and she's learning. We all got to start somewhere. Hello, everyone from Oklahoma. Glenda, welcome, sweetie. I saw one of her lives. She will do well. Absolutely. She's been on YouTube a bit with some friends, and now she's migrating out on her own. She is going to be so happy she won't know what to do. Oh, I'm sure she's going to let me know what to do. Mm -hmm she's a hoot i just dearly love her lucy scott i subscribed wednesday i see she has 69 so far she planned on doing many beginner things awesome let's get her up there joe said she's got 71 i'll keep talking all night till we can hit 100 i'll give away something else if we hit 100 if she hits 100 subscribers while my mouth is a gabbing <laughs> and Tucker's are going, come on, guys. Uh -huh. And Courtney's saying, come on, let's do this. Let's get her to 100. I will give away something else. The what? Three in the way. Now. Joe says she's got 74. Let's see if we can do this. It's the mm -hmm. Christmas season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see what I've, I've got. 75, three quarters. Okay. There. He's 25 more. Stocked Blooms by Open Gates. Next giveaway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she hits 100. I'll give this away in the next 10 minutes. She needs 16 more to hit 100. Let's do this. Hi, Donna, Tucker, and Courtney. Hi, everyone. If you haven't heard, Shady Susan started a channel. Mm -hmm. And I'm so very proud of her. So let's see if we can get 100 subscribers tonight. So when she wakes her little tiny up tomorrow, she's going to be like, what happened? So sneak over there, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications for each and every time she goes live. This is what friends do. We build each other up. Thank you. This is making me so happy for her. You all are the best. Absolutely. Friends take care of friends. 13 more. This is fun. Absolutely. I subscribed the first day. Kathleen, her mind is going to be blown. I was her 16th. I am just like, Phew. let's see if we can do this. Emptiness. 78. Come on. Couple more minutes. Anybody want to win something good? Let's do this. That's I just subscribed. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, everybody. This is going to mean the world to this girl. Mm -hmm. She has been wanting this channel for so long. She's stepping out. Let's make this happen. 
She's at 80 right now. She's at 80. Yep. Absolute. Um, thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> I just love Christmas. I can give the whole shop away. I feel like Peyton tonight. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, she would do great. Abs absolutely. <laughs> Just going, stop it. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to give up my sayings, but you can't beat it out of me. You're keeping it real. Absolutely. <laughs> Sucker. He's, he's doing slash marks to see if he can get me to say it. I'm going to try to get one whole live without saying it. Every time I do, I got to give something away out of Joe's wallet. I'm right. <laughs> he says, now I can keep my sayings. She just started long arming and she is already sharing. She also knits and crochets. Get out of town. She crochets. Mm. I got some needles in your on mailer. I tried. I made a washcloth. And I'm keeping it for the end of time. She's stuck on 81, 19 to go. So, Terry, we love you, Donna. Love you, Brenda Foley. Reach out to your friends. I got eight more minutes. Let's see if we can make this happen. Don't stop your sayings. It's you. You be you. I love them. Julie, thank you. Um, Tucker says, per, <laughs> per C. <laughs> okay. Um, Susan Bye. got me back into knitting a few days ago. That is so sweet. She's a good kid. She lives, um, she tells me we're neighbors. We're two states away, but we're neighbors. Mm -hmm. We're like that five hour drive, but we're neighbors. I like it when you say cool beans, Donna. I say a lot of things. Mm -hmm. When I was the state president for the auxiliary, you know how you got to be all prim and proper and you're standing up on stage. Joe would cringe because he never knew if I was going to say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, Dorlin Dale. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. 83. We can do this. Teamwork makes the dream work happen. That's right. I need something cold. I feel like I'm in a bed and work. Can you bring me up some iced tea? <laughs> 25, 35. Don, it is near Watson. Subscribe. Ab mm, yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced per se. I do say that a lot too. Mm -hmm. okay, nice. Shelly's asking. The mm -hmm. what? Shelly's asking. Shelly's asking what? Who are we subscribing to? Um, Shady Susan. Mm -hmm. she's okay. at work. um post her link again brenda Foley it. wants her link um quoting queen sewing sensations by shady susan well, if that's not a mouthful <laughs> Teresa louise let's post this link i really want to give this away guys Back up uh, 83 right now <laughs> <clears throat> 84. Mm -hmm. This quilt on my chair is cute. Um, if you haven't been able to, I'm going to start pushing everybody off this channel to go over there next. This is Fallon's pattern from Soviet Quilts. She did um, two and a half inch orphan um, pieces out of our scrap bins everybody cuts them up and we just like throw them in a bin and someday we're going to use them she challenged me and i was i'm always up for a challenge and she wrote this pattern so i was like now that won't take long i made um let me say the nine patch i had to do 52 blocks of a nine patch two and a half inch i was loving her by then and then I had to make 51 blocks of the snowball. Mm -hmm. Then she gave me the instructions on how to make the quilt. <laughs> and I was giving her the instructions where I was going to mail these parts. 
but I love it. It, it did turn out pretty. And mm. I have enough of those that I could probably do four or five more. <laughs> it's so pretty. We need um, more people to people pop in. I can't read it. it <clears throat> I can't even get it to unblock. I just made okay, we need more new people to pop in. Yo, go subscribe. Are you about to get all better? I'm hoping. Susan needs 15 more. Just subscribed. It looks like she's doing a live also now. Correct. Absolutely, Glenda. And um, honestly, if y'all stop over there and she's live, do me a favor. <laughs> Slip into her chat and say, Donna sent you. <laughs> <laughs> I was Susan's first subscriber. It was a year ago. I've been waiting for her videos. Teresa Louise, you set her up for success, my darling. That's right. We're getting snow here in Michigan. Keep now, it. You can keep it because I had my ice storm yesterday. I'm kind of over winter. Santa can ride in on a snowstorm and then I'm done. Winter's over and I need the sunshine in the beaches. Uh -huh. She's not live now that I can see. No, honey. I believe um, it'll pop up. I was the 84th. Just remember, you were her 84th. That's kind of cool. She's at 85. She's at 85 now. So we need 15 more. Courtney put it over there on that other thing. 15 more. So Terry said she's at 85. So put it on your other channels. Let's get this out there. What is it? Um, your TikTok. I'll throw it on Instagram. We'll see if we can really rock our world. The community tab. Community tab. Hit community tab. But you got to remember, they got to be awake. And we're um, getting really late at night. Thumbs up, peeps. Mm -hmm. Teresa Louise, God love you, babe. Mm -hmm. Yep. This has been fun. <laughs> uh -huh. If I don't get to give this away tonight, I'll be lurking and nobody can tell her I'm lurking. But um, when she hits 100, somebody's going to get this cool pattern. Yeah. Well, We're trying. Mm -hmm. um, he is going to wake up and wonder. Well, she is going to wake up and wonder what happened. <laughs> so everyone... Go leave a comment that Don and Courtney and Tucker sent you. <laughs> yeah. She'll be like, what the heck? You made by Ying Donna. Um, she's not live right now. This is only her second snow. One I like ago. snow. She made, a, she made a stream one day ago. She made a lot. Okay, you can keep it, Teresa. Absolutely. You keep it there, girlfriend. 14 more to go. So listen, guys, if we don't get it here in the next four minutes. Then we won't get it tonight, but I'll be lurking over on her channel. Teresa Louise knows this is going to go out as soon as she hits 100. Teresa will reach out. I just need to know um, how we're going to do this. I'd like this to be out by Christmas so we can bless someone for Christmas. It'll be fun. I want to wake her up with a hundred more. <laughs> I think it would be cool, but I don't know. I We're going to get this. I know we can do this tomorrow when people watch her, your replay. <laughs> She'll get more. Yeah, <laughs> probably. How cool is that going to be? Mm -hmm. um, Donna Yang, Donna, it's going to be really hard for me to keep my zip, my lip zipped. You don't have to. Don't say nothing. <laughs> Let's see if she checks her numbers. If I she's going to be a youth dear, we're just going to be looking at them numbers. I told Courtney, C O U R T N Y. Uh huh. -U -R -T. What are you saying, Courtney Center? <laughs> N I E D, I think. Yeah. She's at 87. She's at 87 now. I'll give it a couple more minutes. Um, keep leaving her link for replay. Absolutely, everybody, wherever you go, 
Let's right. just fire her up. Let's get her build. Let's build her up. Mm -hmm. I sent her. I sent her a comment. Oh, what did you your say? Your channel was Ying, Tuckered, and Courtney last night. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff posted over on her channel. He said, "Just wanted to let you know, your channel was Ying, Yinged, Tuckered, Tuckered Courtney, and Courtney, and Courtney <laughs> last night." <laughs> <laughs> and put in your description box <laughs> when you post the replay you gotta drop her link in the replay <laughs> she's gonna kill me when my phone goes ring a ding ding in the morning I'm gonna go please subscribe to Shady Susan 88 <laughs> 88, we can do this. 12 more. Mm -hmm. Go out there and make up some names, people. We want to do this. <laughs> do it legal. We're doing it legal. She's going to love this. Carissa Ringer, only 12 more to go. Wake up your children. Wake up your spouses. Steal their phones. <laughs> Let's fire this up. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm it's always interesting at Yings. That's right. <laughs> Aren't you glad you come out to play? Uh huh. Sound enthusiastic. <laughs> no, he's going. <laughs> oh God, he never knows what I'm going to pull him into. No, <laughs> your mom said you can hang out with me as long as we got bail money. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Vote for blank. Go subscribe. To, I don't know what she's saying. Um, thinking of building up Tucker, did you ever get the gift dollars we put in? We're not even going to discuss that, Brenda. Mm -mm. That's a closed subject okay. over here. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for her. Um, yay, she's at 90. Well, who 10 more? Let's see if we can make this happen. We can do it. Tucker's going to dance. <laughs> Every time she gets one, he's going to spin. <laughs> then <laughs> <laughs> watch me fall <laughs> you're pulling me in if you do that right <laughs> <laughs> this has been one of the funner lives I've had in a bit uh -huh. <laughs> um, that's my okay that's you know Brenda thank you honey Mm -hmm. Let me see. Um, so Terry, never mind. Vote for mm -hmm. blank. Go subscribe. I don't understand that question. <laughs> Let me see. So Terry Susan sent me yarn for my sister who is struggling with the loss of her husband. And the chat moved and has since gotten Parkinson's. She has a heart of gold. I didn't ask for the yarn. She just insisted. She does. She's a sweetheart. Hang in there, you three. Just a few more minutes. It can happen. It's going to be a Christmas miracle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 91. We can do it. I know we can. We can do it. I know we can. Nine more. I'll be able to. I thought, okay, patty cake, patty cake, bakers, <laughs> man. I know you people. Jeff, I don't even know if I know you people. <laughs> He's going, okay, nine more. Um, let me see. I think we've got everybody in the chat. <laughs> the Santa Claus <laughs> channel yet. I've done subscribe to her. <clears throat> 91. Should I wake up my family? No, don't wake them up. Just go take their phones. <laughs> yeah. Dance, talk, or dance. <laughs> Beck is going to look at this in the morning and go crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Jeffy's going to say, Tucker, you can't come over to Dawn. It's a play anymore. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Check again, Joe. Check again. What are we at now? Somebody's making up accounts. 92. 
<laughs> Somebody's making up a cow. Your daughter cheating? No, uh, uh-uh. she she did it under her daughter's name. Her daughter has a channel. <laughs> well, if we get real close, I can get down there and. Get Tucker, there. you need some pom pom for cheering. Woo-hoo-y! <laughs> Where's my balls of yarn? <laughs> she would love that. <laughs> oh, I have my way back. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can sing the 12 days of Christmas and it will happen by the end of the song. Hit it, guys. Right. <laughs> no one wants this group to sing. You ready, Tucker? <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, my true love came to me. <laughs> a copyright. <laughs> a copyright violation and spanked over his knee. <laughs> yeah. Has Joe subscribed yet? Yes, he has. You guys can sing. I already did that. We just got... Um, yo, Joe, go subscribe, Chris. <laughs> 94. She needs six more. We're at 94. Come on, guys. We're going to It must be my dancing. It's your dancing and my amazing singing. <laughs> go, girl. Go, girl. I'll be right back. I'm going to give her a couple. All oh. right. Um, Julie Quilch, you guys are crazy and I'm loving it. Six more. Let's do this. We got this. Um, this is more exciting than the New Year's ball drop. <laughs> well, all day we were there. Remember when? I know, right? It's kind of like, woohoo. <laughs> I can honestly say I knew her when before she got a channel. Mm-hmm. Go, talker. Go, talker. Come on. It's just slap happy. <laughs> yeah, we're all a little tired. We've been quilting in this sewing all day. Six mm-hmm. more needed. It's totaling. Okay. Um, what were we saying in the quilt retreat? Um, Grandma got ran over by reindeer. <laughs> we can phone a friend or a couple hundred. Tucker, wish I could throw in a dollar bill for you to put in your belt. <laughs> not today it's gonna need to be more than a dollar to make him holler <laughs> that's Switching right to my other account and subscribe with that when julie quilts we're gonna do this that's right she's gonna get that save. notification in the morning do i she's gonna get that notification in the morning yeah, she's gonna get that where it lights up and confetti comes out when she turns on her YouTube. Woohoo, you hit 100. And it's a Christmas miracle. I love it. Mm-hmm. And then our phones are going to ring. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nobody better tell her doctor. Just As cut this out. Grandpa, we believe. <laughs> go, Susan. Go, Susan. Go, 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 Susan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness and that's on iced tea could you picture if i had coffee tonight oh my <laughs> gosh someone pop over to eric Oda's live and drop the link in there whoops nope he paddles for that <laughs> well i might i'll be back <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm Oh my God, my ribs hurt. This has been a blast. Three more. Okay, go Susan. Go Susan. And the dancing. Tucker swirling. You got to do it again, Tuck. <laughs> Courtney, shake your money maker. Come on, we got to earn this. We have to earn this. No one handed me a hundred. I had to work. Oh my, just three more to go. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, oh my word. Okay, we got to think of our contest. What will the magic number be? Hmm. Um, let me see. 98, so we're at two more. Two more, we can do it. I know we can. We can do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need some more chocolate. (laughs) 
Let's see. Wife. Thank you, baby. I'm going to choke to death if she gets this last tube. I got this candy in my mouth. <laughs> Molly and Buttercup are asleep, so I can't One do more. That. Two more. Come on. One more. Oh, she's got it. She's got it. No, Yay! screenshot it. it is. Somebody screenshot it and it. shoot it to me. Can I make a channel for my sewing machine? <laughs> okay, Jay, you got a screenshot. I'll score in the egg. What? Come okay, on. Wait a minute. Hang on. All right, go, everybody go, yay. On count of three. One, two, three, go. Yay! Hey. All right. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> She's at 101 now. Do what? She's at 101 now. Put and chocolate. I knew better. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a Christmas miracle. Hi. <laughs> oh. right. Thank each and every one of you. Absolutely. This has been an absolute blast tonight. Mm -hmm. And you guys, I'm telling you what, <laughs> y'all made it happen. Mm -hmm. When she wakes up, what did you do, Joe? He's doing something on her over there. <laughs> <laughs> you three are fantastic. Thank you. We're not going anywhere. We still got to do a giveaway. Hang on a Don't do a giveaway. I just need your wallet. I'm going to give away something else. I didn't have <laughs> Christmas mood. <laughs> Feeling a little giving tonight. Uh -huh. So much fun. This is awesome. Teresa Louise, babe, we love you. <laughs> See, you would have been over here going, we can do it. We know you can. You'd have been dancing with Tucker. You guys are great. <laughs> We're just nuts. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just can't say enough. Right. Oh, Brenda, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Susan is a very kind order person. Get to know her. Um, awesome. Does anyone know what state Susan lives in? Yeah, she lives in Delaware. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brenda, you're going to make me cry, sweetheart. I love you, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a Christmas miracle, and I have a heart. Uh huh. Okay, Joe's going to be checking the email before we get off of here. And he's doing something shady over there for Shady Susan. And I'm <laughs> sure we're all going to get to see it before he allows us to get offline. <laughs> and I need to go get my crow's feet medicine on my eyes. <laughs> Wait till she sees this. You ain't seen nothing yet. Joe's up to no good. Oh, no. She's going to see something. <laughs> <laughs> What did you do? There you go. Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to see if I like it. <laughs> no, I have chocolate in my mouth. Let's do it again. No, we ain't doing it again. No. Oh, my goodness. She's going to see chocolate in my mouth. I'm celebrating. I'm going like this. <laughs> did it go three Hang times at Donna? Hang on a second. I don't like that one. If you share that picture, you better find somewhere you, you want to be happy. <laughs> oh. oh, gosh. I'm uh, going like this. That, it didn't share the right one. That's not the right one. Man. Thank you all so much. That's not, it. That's not the right one. That's Good. Right. See, God doesn't want you to show that one. <laughs> Give us a chance at doing a retake. 
Remember that freezer. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here at the bottom, Joe, straight down. Go to the left. Go to the right. Joe, the bottom line. Yeah, right. Know where's that? You're telling me you don't know where. Oops, what is it? <laughs> You're all over the place, my love. Oh, well. There's just screen one would be it. There's not. Mm -mm. Oh, right there it is. Yeah, that's it. And I don't like that. And I'm purposely, I purposely asked you not to share that. Okay. <laughs> there, done. Not there anymore. Let's do a yay again, since I don't have chocolate in my mouth. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Joe, can yeah. you get this one? All right, go ahead. Do something fun. Okay. Yay! <laughs> All right. Thank you. Can you use that one? I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll get that one later. Oh, how good of all of you to share the wealth with Susan. I could cry. It's great. Mm -hmm. All right, we got to do this giveaway. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> How many stitches are on Tucker's machine? I don't think they allow that many digits. <laughs> no. Um, we got to think of something good. I would say how many subscribers she had when we started, but I don't know. Um, I know. I got it. First one that answers. This is an easy one. How many videos has Susan got up that are live? I was thinking that. Great minds think alike. We worked them hard. How many live videos does she have up now? Susan Taylor. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. Susan Taylor, yeah. Okay. S. Taylor, you got it. You're the first one on my timestamp. Please yep. email me at Donna at handmadebyying.com. And, um, let me know that you're the giveaway number two for tonight. <clears throat> There's the email in there. And Joe just dropped the email. Please email me right away because I'm going out to the post office in the morning. Well, I'm sending Joe. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm sending Joe. <laughs> While well, he's out in the cold weather in the storm. I'll be sitting here scram making him some scrambled eggs or something. I'll be wooing him with eggs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first giveaway was here for this one. I want to make sure I'm laying these out right because I can't address envelopes or nothing until Joe gives me the info. The second one was who? What did everybody make? S. Taylor. Yes. Number two. All right, Joe. I need um, Montoya's email, and I'm sure she's emailed. I need her, you need you to print me her so I can get her address. Hang on a second. Here, just give me a minute. <clears throat> she is going to be like, um, pinch me. Pinch me. She's going to pinch us all. This is what friends do for friends. Mm -hmm. Who's Mont Montoya? Yeah. Kathleen Donna and Joe, I wonder how many uh, minutes it took to get Susan to 100. We'll have to watch the replay. Yeah, we can watch the replay. That would be fun. I'm sending an email now. Thank you. You are so welcome. Have to look back at the video later to get the time. I bet it broke a record. What was the other one? Um, S. Taylor. She's sending it right now, she said. You should have it momentarily. And 
Uh, Montoya sent it twice. Joe's printing it now for me, sweetie. Montoya is just printing right now. Yeah, he's printing it for me now. Um, do you help with other channels? I help a lot of people in my channel. Um, yeah, sure. Send me um, some other channel names. Let me see here. I'm going to go to this channel and I'm checking it out. We Quilt Studios. Okay, do me a favor. I'm going to subscribe to you right now. I'll check you out. And shoot me an email with your contact information. I do a lot of live interviews on my channel. And um, if you'd like, I'll bring you on board and we'll do a live interview. Find out what you're all about. Mm -hmm. I love my interviews. Yep, yep. Absolute. Absolute. <laughs> oh, Yet. She hasn't emailed yet. Um, hold on, let me see. She said she had to do it. Would love to share her excitement. It's gonna be fun. Yepers. We quilt studio. Yes, please email me. The email's in the um chat tonight. Grab it before I get off. It's Donna at handmadebying.com. If you don't see it, shoot me an email. Sign it, We Quilt Studio. Shoot me your um, email. Shoot me your contact number. And um, I do interviews on Mondays at 7 o'clock p.m. And I'm already booking now for late January into February. Uh, still haven't got the last. She's... She said she was emailing you. Okay. <coughs> Joe's waiting on that last email. Susan better love us. I'm staying up past my bedtime. I know. <laughs> Donna, Susan is absolutely going to love you for it. She got to think I done lost my mind. I just subscribed. We'll check out your videos. We quilt studio. Absolutely. This is team, team building. No one grows alone. Mm -mm. What was her name? Barbara Short? Where? The last one is uh, one. S. Taylor. S. Taylor. I'm not sure that's the email she's sending from. Mm -hmm. She you said it sent. sent. Uh, she said she sent. Good night. Um, Montoya, did you get an email? Is it under S. Taylor? Hold on, let me slip away. I think that kind of should have a giveaway. I told him to put giveaway. I, got the... I don't know where you're at. She says, Yes, it is. Hang on a second here. I got I got messed up. Mm -hmm. It's out of sync here. How did you do that? I don't know. It, it's hang on a second. Sometimes sometimes you get down here. This is goes. Night, Teresa. That's Taylor. Hey, Teresa. She said it. Good night, Teresa Louise. We love you, babe. All right, everybody. We've got all the emails. These packages are going out tomorrow, and it's been a blast. <laughs> um, Y'all, if you hear anything over at Susan's, make sure you let her know we sent you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she doesn't have to call us or anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. We love you. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you back sometime before Christmas. Tucker and I'll see you on Monday. That's right. <laughs> Just set it for letting. We're going off, babe. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.